Hi and welcome to Essential Lightroom. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can deal with cropping images in Lightroom CC. So this is going to be a super quick tutorial which is going to show you all the different ways you can crop and all the different options that are available in the latest Lightroom CC. So without further ado, let's check that out right now. So the one thing that Lightroom CC has really brought in is simplifying and streamlining the process to do quite a few different things. There's no exception when dealing with cropping images. So to access the crop, all we need to do is be in the develop module. So you've got your image open like this. You can press D on the keyboard to access that module. Once you've done that, if you take a look on the right hand side, you'll see the second option down is the crop and rotate option. We click to expand that out or press C on the keyboard. That'll bring up the crop options. Now you can see it's a pretty simple, straightforward layout. We've got the option to deal with the aspect ratio, to rotate the image and rotate the aspect ratio around, to lock the aspect ratio, to straighten, to auto straighten. So if we've got an image that isn't aligned correctly, we want to align it on the horizon or something, we can easily do that. We've also got different rotation and flip tools available. So let's go through these one at a time. Let's take a look at the aspect ratio. You can see if we leave this set at original, any kind of cropping that we do, will retain the aspect ratio of the image that we're working with. So we can just position this where we want, resize it by grabbing any of the grab handles in the top, bottom, left or right, or the middle points. That's an easy way of resizing, I think. But the aspect ratio is locked. So that's pretty cool. If you want to change the aspect ratio, we can do that really easily as well. Click where it says original, and you can see we've got a whole range of different options in there. Now, these are kind of geared towards either your traditional photography kind of aspect ratio, such as 4x5s, 8x10s, and so on. But we've also got options that if you're working with screens, for example, high definition 1080, you've got those options available in there as well. So that's really cool. So you can choose any of these options. You've also got the option for custom. So you can click on that, and you can create a custom aspect ratio yourself. So again, really, really easy. Let's just quickly switch that back to its original option, which is as shot. Okay, so one of the things that was a little bit annoying inside Lightroom Classic, as it's now called, or the typical desktop application, was that when you wanted to change the aspect ratio, for example, you wanted to go from landscape to portrait, it was just a little bit fiddly, didn't always work, and if you weren't accustomed to how to do it, it could really drive you up the wall. Well, they've refined that now in Lightroom CC. We can simply hit this option and that'll rotate the aspect ratio. So by clicking on that, we immediately switch it over to be in portrait mode. Click it again, we just jump back into landscape mode. Again, really easy. Next option we have is to constrain the aspect ratio. So you'll know at the moment, if I resize this, grab any of these corner handles, any of the middle handles, it will retain that sort of aspect ratio that we currently have, which in this case is the original aspect ratio. We may not want to do that. We want to resize it to something exactly the way we want. So we can click to unlock that. And now we've got complete net of free reign to create any shape or size that we want inside Lightroom CC. So a very quick and easy way of being able to deal with changing aspect ratio to crop this to any way you want. If we want to undo that, we can simply just click on the undo to reset everything. That puts it back to exactly as it was, and we can relock that aspect ratio to make sure we retain that. Next up, we've got the horizon. So like I say, if we find that we've got something that we've taken a photograph, it's not exactly perfectly in line, well, we can use this option to rotate this whichever direction we want by any kind of degree amount that we want. Again, really quick and easy to just adjust everything to make sure that our image is perfectly aligned to any kind of straight edge that we want in the image. Again, really easy. Once again, let's just reset that back to its normal. Now we've got these four options, which are rotate and flip. We click on rotate to the left. You can see that rotates the image to the left. In other words, anti-clockwise. To the right, rotate it clockwise. Each time it's doing a 90 degree angle. So again, really quick and easy. If your photograph's been imported and it's shown as landscape, whereas it should be portrait, where you can quickly just flip it around by using either of those. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the command and the sort of square bracket right, square bracket left, depending on which one you want. Next up, we've got the mirror horizontally or mirror vertically. If we click it, it does exactly what its name suggests. Flips it to a mirror image, either vertical or horizontal. Again, we can click it either way. Vertical, horizontal, very quick, very easy, very intuitive. And that really is all there is to deal with cropping your images in the new Lightroom CC. 
I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we release new content on the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else you've covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.